Good morning, South Florida. I'm CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez with your tropics update and of course all eyes on a dangerous Category 5 Hurricane Irma and now is the time to make sure you have your hurricane plan and supplies in place as we will be closely watching Hurricane Irma which now does pose a threat to South Florida. It is moving towards the northern Leeward Islands and a Cat 5 with max sustained winds of 175 miles per hour. The pressure dropped to 929 millibars Moving west of 14 miles per hour and about 270 miles east of Antigua, it's expected to move across the Leeward Islands into late tonight and into tomorrow, and then likely the British and U.S. Virgin Islands as we head into uh, Thursday early in the morning, likely a Cat 5 still north of Puerto Rico and possibly north of Hispaniola, but then likely heading into the Turks and Caicos as we head into Friday morning and into Saturday morning could be north of or moving just over Cuba and then Sunday over the weekend South Florida in that cone of uncertainty as we get into Saturday into Sunday hurricane center forecasting Irma as a cat form moving across the Florida Straits or the Keys and in terms of significant wind impact we're seeing that high threat is increasing for us here in South Florida and certainly remains high from the northern Leeward Islands through the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, Turks and Caicos, and parts of the Bahamas. Hurricane warnings have been issued for these areas as well as hurricane watches and tropical storm watches for Dominican Republic. Most of the computer models coming together in agreement that Irma will likely move northwest here across the Caribbean over the next few days and then likely move either across Cuba or north of Cuba as we get into late Friday into Saturday and Sunday. Most of the models forecasting it takes a turn to the north and could be just offshore or moving across the state of Florida northward as we head into early next week and that's what the Euro and GFS model are currently in agreement with as well. So in terms of the Irma timeline, we're going to see spotty storms the next few days by Friday. That will be our final day for any last minute preparations. And then Saturday into Sunday, we'll likely see winds, squalls increasing, and our weather conditions deteriorating. Could even start as soon as early uh, on Friday night. So, of course, stay tuned to CBS4 and CBSMiami.com for your latest updates.